Okay, so it really comes down. I mean, YouTube, YouTube. I guess, I guess the the real question is, what is your ultimate goal with YouTube? Meaning, and and the way I look at it, it's really there's there's really two types of goals. Goal number one, we're only using it for a platform to host content in which we can share with our members or or with the general public. That's kind of a, a more just general reason to use it so I can park my content I can park these videos and people can access it like like that's that's one type of quote-unquote youtuber and it's not even the fact that you're a youtuber it's just the fact that you're using you're leveraging YouTube right you're leveraging YouTube to host your content and that and that's it the second type of youtuber or person that's going to use YouTube to you know to leverage YouTube is a type of of a person who's going to going to use it for the same reasons person number one is using it for but person number two is also they have the intention of actually building an income from it of actually turning this content into future content that we can monetize so if you don't care about the monetization of it which i i highly encourage you to care about it because even if it was just a few hundred a month which I literally, with all the content that you have and the way that you can actually structure this YouTube channel, that could be a passive income of several thousand. Like I'm already about no, to. No, I do. I do care about it. And Perfect. my I, my question to you is, um, does the content have to be in a certain way for it to be uploaded and for us to monetize it? Yeah, for sure. And that's so. That's 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 who I want to speak to is person number two who actually wants all the reasons that person that person number one wants, but they also want to monetize it. And so that's what I can show you because that's what that's 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 who I am. I'm person number two who has all this content. I want to leverage it to host my videos, but I also want to monetize it. Right. So so that 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 brings us to the reason all these reasons that I'm going to show you on why it's important. The end screen, the um the card, the tags, the description, the thumbnail and uploading consistently all of that right there wouldn't be necessary for person number one but because you're person number two i'm person number two that's why all that's important so yeah she needs to put an end screen she needs to put the cards all that stuff i'll show you right now okay. so here's how here's here's what you want to do also and yeah don't worry about taking notes because I'll, I'll just record it for us okay. um here's here's number one is the fact that you want to be consistent with this content. And so consistent means you want to be uploading at least, and based on all the content that you have, you have a ton and you're going to keep putting out a ton. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, if it's not too much for your VA, mm -hmm. I would have her upload one video per day. Like that's okay. the job I would give her. Your job okay. is to upload one video per day. Okay. Bottom line. And, 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 I would go, yeah, I would, I would, I would keep her around because I mean, I would keep her around. I would keep her around for the next 12 months to at least do that. If she's doing a great job, which I'm going to show you everything she needs to do, you have her do that for 12 months. And I'm telling you, you would, you, you'll start seeing an income on the back end, and you'll be glad you did. That will offset any expense you're currently put, putting out for her. So here's what you want to do is, is number one, consistent upload i'm telling you do it daily but if you if, but if a person didn't do it daily then the minimum would be two to three videos per week okay so if you were uploading two to three videos per week and you did that for a 12-month period you'd be good you'd be really really good like your subscribers would be in the thousands your monthly residual income would be in the thousands so um just that alone, just, just two to three a week. But I'm telling you, step it up. If you have a VA to do it, one per day and do that. That's what I'm doing. So I'm on a blitz in 2020 to upload a video every day. Um, and I started that in December. So I started that on December 1st, uh, 2019. And I'm going to just go all of 2020 and just put up a video every single day. So with that being said, the video goes up and then um, – you always want to make sure you're doing all this from an actual desktop, right? Not from your cell phone. Cause I know there's apps and there's little shortcuts, especially a VA. If she's younger, she's probably used to cell phone. She probably, that's probably all she knows is her cell phone and apps and trying to do everything on her phone, which is fine. But in this case, you want to do it from a computer. 
So that video is, is on Dropbox. She's downloading it off of Dropbox onto her computer. And then she's coming over here and she's uploading it from here. And so I'm just going to take you to the basics because, yeah, this will be a short call, but, but I'll just cover all the basics just so you don't miss anything. Up here, upload, simple upload. Okay. And then what, what I would always, what I always do and what I, what I, you know, what she most likely will do as well is when you upload that video, it doesn't have to go live now. So what I do is I upload a video. If I upload a video today, I'll schedule it to go live tomorrow. Mm. So I'm always scheduling out my videos. Um, it's not a, 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 you know, upload now and it goes live now. Let's just, let's take our time and let's just upload it and, and make it go out 24 hours later. So what I do is I'll come in here and I'll um, select the file mm -hmm. and I'll just grab that file from my actual computer. Mm -hmm. So my downloads, wherever that file may be, and then I'll upload it. And then in fact, let me see if I have any videos. Cause I think I, I think I take them right when I do a video, I take it all off, but I'll do this one just for the example. Okay. So we upload this video and then it's going to take us through the actual setup process, which is the end screen, the card, um, the thumbnail, all that stuff. So there's the title. And if this is a, a video for members only, then what you would do is you obviously put it unlisted. So, um, down here, you can go more options. And actually, think, I think the unlisted is on the next screen, which we'll get there. But let me just take you from here because this is the updated version of YouTube. And this is the version I'll sh I'd rather show you than the old version because I always use the old version of YouTube. But this is the new version and I might as well have you guys get used to this, this part. So if the video is unlisted, the title doesn't matter because no one's going to see it. But if the, if the video is for the public, you want that title to be as catchy as possible. Right, just a simple, a simple, catchy title with the most relevant keywords in your industry, which would be what real estate investor, women real estate investors, real estate. Like, try to put that keyword that pop. Make money keyword. with real estate. What's that? Make money with real estate. Make money with real estate. Yes, those catchy keywords are good for your title, and then what you also want to do is write out a simple description. It doesn't have to be a long description, but you want those keywords in the description as well. So I want to write, write out at least a paragraph or at least maybe, maybe a few sentences. And I want those keywords to be in that, in that, in those sentences. And that's the description. So, um, and then you scroll down and then scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. And then the thumbnail, what I, what I use for the thumbnail is, Everyone has their own little program, but a free, a free one that I always use, and that's what I use you know, to create every thumbnail. And your thumbnail doesn't have to be the most prettiest. I mean, everyone has their own opinion on a thumbnail. The thumbnail is super important, but at the same time, you can get away by doing free ones on Canva. And these are, these are, these are super, you, know, you can make it as nice as possible. Mm -hmm. um, and this, would, this is where you wanna get your thumbnail from. So you'll just come in here, um, you can go, you could, you can actually just come to the homepage and just type in YouTube thumbnail and it'll give you the exact dimensions. So right here, here's a blank screen, click on that. And then now I can upload an image. So if you have a bunch of images that you're taking at conferences or past conferences, you can, you can send her that image and say, Hey, use this as the thumbnail. And then she can simply, um, she'll have it. You'll email it to her. She'll download it. She'll have it on her computer. She'll come here, hit uploads, and then she'll upload that file from her computer that you emailed her. She'll grab that image and then she'll just simply click on it and then bring it over here. And then now we can stretch it out to match the exact size of a thumbnail. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want to also put that title or put those keywords in the title of this, of this image. Okay. Now no one's going to see the title, but for SEO purposes and for YouTube algorithm purposes, they do, they know that image, they see the file name and those keywords, you want it to be matching with everything else. So I'll name this, you know, make money, make money in real estate. Mm -hmm. And that's, and then, so what I'll do is I'll click and then I'll come over here and I'll just download it. And then I'll use that image as the thumbnail. So I'll hit and it's PNG. So it's already suggested by default. I'll just hit download and then that's downloading. And then I'll come over here. I'll hit upload thumbnail. And then now I'll grab that image. 
So this is just basic, basic stuff, which she for sure has to already know. But again, I'm, I'm, I'm recording this for everyone to kind of benefit from it. So I might as well take you from the beginning. And right. again, it, th there's not much to it. So there's the image for my thumbnail. Again, mm -hmm. there goes your description. Mm -hmm. And then what you want to do is you want to come down here and you want to always add it to a playlist, as you know. So mm -hmm. playlist is super, super important. And then no, it's not made for kids. And then you don't need to worry about these checks right here. And then this when is where you all you know it's not made for kids. I thought I thought the made for kids thing was something like I mean I it, made for kids means actually it's content for kids. Yes, uh, like, it just doesn't mean it's like it's it's not got nudity or you know blah blah blah. No, it, okay. no, it, it like if we were doing a a video on 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 and we were reviewing toys. Yeah. Okay. That's for kids. All right. So no, it's not made for kids. Yeah, okay. not made for kids. So you'll always go with that. It's already by default filled in. So just go okay. with that one. And then the tags, a huge, or not a huge, but a popular free um, plugin is what we call it, is a plugin by the name of TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy allows you to look at the most popular keywords. So you can just install this. It's free. It will sit up here in the, in the toolbar oh, okay. right here, TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy. And all it does, there's, there's different features. You don't need to pay for the, you don't need to do the paid one at this moment. Mm -hmm. um, just the, the free version is fine, is fine but it, it, it just gives you keywords. So for example, if I type in real estate, mm -hmm. it'll give me a drop down of mm -hmm. the popular ones. And so I want to, I want to go with that real estate investing, real estate exam right. prep videos, real estate agent. Mm -hmm. And if I type in, you know, real estate investing, mm -hmm. Rather than having to guess all the time, oh, obviously, nice. okay. obviously you you know your power words, but mm -hmm. that power word allow it, it, there's other variations of that power word, right? So you're going to know the power word for sure, but the different variations you may not even be thinking of, and so this just allows you to pick even more. And so um, real estate investing for beginners, real estate investing with no money, real estate investing audiobook, and you can see right here the 109 out of 500 that's all the characters. So you want to try to fill that up as much as possible with all these different tags is what they call is what we call it tags. So go up to 500, um, max it out, and then you scroll down and then also give you these other ones. So the free version will give you at least three popular ones. So you can just click on those and add all of those popular ones mm -hmm. and you'll see the check mark if it was added. So now I'm up to 252 of 500 and I just want to keep going and fill it up. Got and it. then we'll scroll down English, none. Um, and then recording date. You can always, um, that, I mean, that doesn't necessarily matter. You can put, you could put today's date so I can go, I can hit the drop down and just go today. And then, um, which is the 15th and that's the recording date, but that, that doesn't really matter. Allow embedding. It's already checked published to subscriptions feed. That's already checked. And then the category, this, this does matter. Um, because that allows, again, the algorithm to really start showing it to the right people. So in your case with real estate investing, if you had science and technology filled in, obviously the, right, the wrong people will be seeing this video, so it, which, which would hurt you. So in this case, with your, with your business, I would, just go with, um, I would just go with how to and style. That's what, I, that's what I go with, is how to. Oh, really? Yeah, how to I, and style. I, I thought maybe education, but no. Education, I mean... You, you can, but, but at the same time, if I was looking to invest in real estate, mm -hmm. that's, how how I, that's what I'm typing in, how okay. to invest in real estate. Okay. All you right. know what I mean? So um, that right there is a big game changer because as I was learning all, the, learning all this stuff, and this, is, this isn't some, something that I really just kind of stumbled across. It wasn't something that I just kind of learned myself. I actually have a mentor myself and I learned all this stuff from him. So mm -hmm. When he told me to do that, that was kind of a game changer for me because that's when I saw my subscribers increase. That's when I started seeing my views increase simply because I changed the category mm -hmm. because I am teaching how to, how to do social marketing, how to right. run Facebook ads. So that right there was a simple, a simple little tweak that I, that I recommend for you as well. So allow all comments for sure. And, and here's the thing. A lot of people try to, try to, try to micromanage this part as far as the comments and and mm -hmm. and they're looking out for negative comments and stuff like that man i want any hater that i have comment on my videos and i'm going to comment back and we'll keep going back and forth 
because that actually helps me. Like I'll have sometimes, sometimes people will come across my video and say, David, you talk too damn much. Get on with the damn point. All, most people would take that offensively. I actually love it because now I'm in a battle with somebody and we're going to keep going back and forth until you give up because I'm not going to give up because I know the algorithm is working in my favor <laughs> because, because I'm replying to my, to, to my comments. And that's what you want to do. You want to, you want to reply to your comments, good or bad. It doesn't even matter. And, and, and I'll tell people, Hey man, that, it is what it is. That's what you signed up for. If you don't like it, pick a different channel. You know what I mean? So, and I do that. I don't do that a lot because I thank God and shout out to all my YouTube subscribers. Thank God they all have love for me, but every now and then you'll get that one troll that says something stupid, but, and, and, and most, most content creators will take offense to it and be like, Oh, let me delete it. No dude, leave it. Like reply to the damn thing and watch that video go from 300 views to 3000, mm -hmm. you know? And if you're monetizing it and you have ads in between the damn video, you're going to be happy right? That income is going to start to increase even more, even with all the haters. So I would allow all co comments for sure. Um, show how many viewers like and dislike this video. That, that right there is up to you. Um, again, thank God I have so many people that like that actually, cause I can see it on the back end, but I don't show that part just because I don't know the like and dislike I, that kind of, I do take offensively for some weird reason. So I don't show that part, but you could for sure show that part by checking the box. And then hit next. And then now we're on the monetization part. So now this right here, and here's the thing. You cannot monetize videos that are under, you cannot maximize the monetization of a video. And what I mean by maximizing it is by adding multiple ads in between. So you cannot maximize it. You cannot do that if the video is under 10 minutes. So if you have a bunch of videos that you wanted to put up, which are two minutes, three minutes, that's fine. Put it up for the general public or if it's for membership only, okay, fine. But those are not videos that we're really going to monetize. We're going to monetize videos that are over 10 minutes. So in this particular case, the video that I just uploaded, it's actually, it's actually less than 10 minutes. So if I go on and I turn it on, um, this right here is going to be all shaded out because now Facebook what I, what I, what you'll always see when the video is over 10 minutes, see, it says right here, only videos longer than 10 minutes are eligible for ads running during the video. So that's what, what I mean by maximizing it is because when you maximize it, you could put as many ads in the middle as you want. If it's a 30 minute video, I'm putting in an ad every five minutes. That's just what I do personally. If it's a, which, and, and so YouTube real monetization are really for those that are, that are doing long form video. So all this stuff really applies to your videos that are over 10 minutes, videos that are not over 10 minutes, then they'll, they'll be an ad. Once you do reach the 1000 subscribers and now you're monetized videos that are below 10 minutes, there'll be an ad that runs before it. So as someone comes to your YouTube channel, they click on that video. It's a nine minute video and there's an ad that runs before it. But what I'm talking about are the ads that run in between. Um, so when the video is under 10 minutes, you cannot, place manually and that's what you'll do for videos that are over 10 minutes you'll click on place manually and you can add ads wherever you want so again in a 30 minute video i'm adding it wherever i want i'm adding it at the five minute mark i'm adding a an ad at the 10 minute mark you know that that and and so that's what we can do when you place manually but in this case the video is under 10 minutes that i'm showing you the example on so i can't even i can't even place it manually i can't do any of that YouTube will just, will just run a commercial before the video and that's pretty much it, which is still fine. I mean, it's still fine. Um, and then I hit next and then add suitability this right here. So does, does your videos, does your videos content title description or keywords contain any of the following? And so all we got to do is, is click on this and put light profanity like hell or damn strongly profanity. Um, and there should have been another option because in your case, you're not going to really fit any of those. Right. So what you'll do is you'll just actually leave that part blank. You won't even worry about that part. Adult content. Don't even worry about that part. All this stuff right here. Um, adult content, romance. Or, so, so if it does, then you'll check it. But if it doesn't just keep going, don't even, mm -hmm. don't even, um, don't even bother because I yours, have a question, David. Yes. Because when I upload videos, monetization doesn't come up in my YouTube channel. Yes, because you're not over 1,000 subscribers yet. 
oh, I have to have 1,000 subscribers to yes. start monetizing. Yes. And so the oh. way we're going to get there, the way we're going to get there is by now starting to do these things on every video and uploading daily or at least two to three a week. That's how you're going you're gonna to skyrocket. And I'm telling you, over the next couple months, you'll be at 1,000 in no time if you're doing these per video. And that's why I'm glad you're leveraging it out because for you to do it yourself, it's, it's damn near a full-time job. Um, it's, it's almost my full-time thing. Um, so if none of those apply, which none of them do, none of the above, and then we just go to next. And then so the video elements. So here's the end screen and here is the cards. Do you know what an end screen is? Yeah, that's the screen right at the end. Yeah, yeah. So the little video, the suggested video that comes up, comes up at the end of the video. So that's when you'll just click on this. And um, I don't know why it won't allow me to do it right now. But and I think I think because the video is so short, that might be a reason. Um, use cards and end screens to show viewers related videos. Um, I think because the video is so short, it's not allowing me to add an end screen. But I but I can add a card. These two things you want to do for sure. Um, and it's very simple. All, all the end screen is, is gonna, you're going to click on add and it's going to open up a list of all your previous videos. And what you want to do on the end screen is you always want that end screen video to be relevant or on the same topic, which all yours are obviously all real estate investing. So you could just pick the next video. You click add and it'll show you a list of all your previous videos. Just pick the next one you know, or pick one that, that you think is you know, relevant to what they just watched. Okay. So, so in my case, if I'm doing a video on Facebook ads on how to run a video ad, and that is the actual video, my end screen would be my other previous video on running a Facebook ad to capture leads, right? So it's similar. It wouldn't be a Facebook ad or it wouldn't be a, a video that I'm showing you how to run a Facebook video ad. And then my end screen is showing you how to do Google SEO. Right, because now it's completely different. So you want that next video to to be the same similar topic, and that's what's going to allow the algorithm to work in your favor. And people are going to be like, "Damn, okay, he just showed me how to run a video ad. Now this end screen video, he's showing me how to run a, a Facebook lead capture ad. Let me watch that one too." Right. So the end screen, that next video is super super important. And then the card, same thing. The card is just. Do you know what the cards are? No. Okay. When you're watching a YouTube video and in the top right hand corner, there's a little pop up that comes up. Yeah. That's a card. Mm -hmm. So with a card, all I got to do is just click on add and it's going to give me a list of all my previous videos and I can add any video in that card. So I'll go right here and that's the, so as a person's watching a video, all it is is a little, the little thing that comes up in the right hand corner. Let me, um, so I'll go this one, video or playlist. I'll click on that and then I'll add this video. These are all my previous videos and then I'll click create card. But again, that video is just like the end screen. So that's the little dot that you see in the right. So as people, so, and then I can control when that dot comes up. So if, if I want that dot to come up towards the end, that's when it's going to come up. And that's this right here. That's a card. So okay. now as that video is ending, they have the end screen that comes up and then at a different time mark within the video, there's a card. So what I so, normally do is I'll make both those videos the same. Go ahead. I'm sorry. That's okay. So would the card video be a video, another video that's 10 minutes or longer, or would a card video be like supporting video, like one of our testimonials? It could be anything. It could be anything. It could be anything. It could be anything. But again, every video from this point, now you have so many videos that are probably not over 10 minutes and that's fine. This is just all for future knowledge. You know what I mean? So, so a card, if, if we happen to have a video that's relevant to the video that they just watched and it's over 10 minutes, oh, for sure put that because we're going to be able to monetize that. Okay. You know what I mean? So yeah, you'll, you'll be able to, you'll, you'll know which one's the, the, the best. And, and if you can just start, you know, putting up even longer form videos, mm -hmm. then, then that's, that's, that's what this is all about. Monet monetization is really for longer form video. 10 minutes or longer. Okay. Okay. So, so that's the card. And then, um, so if I put that, it saves automatically. And then what I can do is I can just simply go back. Let me, okay, here we go.
dang, why did it take me all the way back to the beginning? That's why I don't use this new version. I hate this new version. Um, okay, so, but we were, we were already at the end. We were already at the end. Let me see if I could just fly back through this. I don't know why it kicked me back. I normally go with upload with classic in the top right. That's how I always do it. But this is the newer version and, and you got to kind of get used to this newer version. But it, it, it's pretty straightforward. So I'm going to just go, yeah. I'll just go next on all of this. And then the monetization. Yeah. Um, let's see. So now let's see if, if it, I think it did still save it. Let me go back. Okay, there it is there. So because I went back, it threw off the, the processing, abandoned, file is duplicate. Okay, that's fine. Let's, so I can just open it up from here. Where did it go? Let's see if I can just go more Azure. You know what, let me, um, this will take five seconds. Let's yeah. just, let's just do it, do it again. Let's just do it again. So we click create. Isn't that it video. below there? That's it, but it won't. And, and once a video is up, mm -hmm. they won't let you upload it again because they'll just show duplicate. So that's what that was showing. It was that I already had it up, but for some reason it took me back to the beginning. So they wouldn't let me upload it again until I delete it, unless I delete it. So it's okay. I deleted it, and then now we're back up, and this this will just I'll fly through this part. So we already got that. We already got the first part. We got past monetization. Um, file is a duplicate. Yeah, you you you. Yeah, there's it's still there's another one in there, David. I saw it. Let's um, refresh below this. the one that you duplicated. Scroll down. Look. There's 200 sycamore below it. Gotcha, gotcha. I saw that one. Okay, let's open up. Let's open up that one then. That one should still be there. Okay, cool. So we got we got that first one, which this first one should have been deleted. Let's delete this. Okay, so let's open up this one. Okay, cool. Okay, so now we're at the very end. So yeah, so all that stuff stay perfect. Okay, so let's go. So there goes the thumbnail. There goes all of that. We hit next, monetization. And then we go add suitability that we, we got on that one, check the box. And then the next one and the last one, is the add card, the end screen. We got that, we hit next. And then this is where I go. So I can go public right away, right? I can upload it, go public right away. But what I always do is I'll go schedule and mm -hmm. I'll go schedule and then I'll set the date. And what you wanna do also is a huge, huge tip is to make it go live. If, if our strategy is daily, okay, it's daily, but it doesn't even matter. Even if our strategy was just to upload two to three a week, you want to make, make, make sure that it always goes live at the same time, because as you start to build an audience, you want these, you want your audience to always expect a video at that time. And again, if it's not going to be daily, okay, well let your audience know, Hey, and, and maybe put up a, a, a banner, like a, your, your cover photo. If it's not going to be, if it is daily, put up a cover photo and say daily videos dropped every day or daily videos uploaded every day on real estate investing. Like that could be your, your cover photo for, for your channel. Or if it's not daily, three times a week, mm -hmm. videos uploaded every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8 a.m. So then you start to you start to to build an audience of people that know when to expect your stuff. So what I do in my case is again my whole goal for 2020 is to upload a video every single day, and I and I upload it every day at 8 a.m. So same time every day, um, and that that's super important. So that's what I would do. So the date right. is the 15th. I would schedule this for the 16th at 8 a.m. Right. And then, and then go from there. And then also down here, before you publish, check the following schedule and that's it. So again, 
all that stuff was pretty basic once you really get the hang of it. But the main, 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 I can't stress this enough. The main, main strategy is to be consistent weekly. That's it. If we're going to upload daily, then make sure it's daily. If we're only going to upload three a week, make sure you do it three a week as if it was your religion. And I'm not saying do this forever. I'm challenging to, challenging to do it for the next 12 months. Okay. Do it for the next 12 months. And so I'm telling you. I need to start getting this done, start this process, and then we need to start getting subscribers, right? Because I need to get to 1,000, you said? Well, well all, all of this right here is going to get you to 1,000 fast. Okay. Everything I just covered. That's mm -hmm. how you get to a thousand. Okay. That's exactly how, that's exactly how I, you know, got to a couple thousand. And, and here's the thing is that had I known this, when I started my channel, I started my channel messing around in 2017 because that's when I started helping real estate agents with social media marketing and Facebook advertising. And all I was doing in 2017, I didn't even look at it for monetization. I had no idea about monetization. And I talk about this in my videos all the time because I truly believe everybody needs to be doing this. If you're putting out content on social media, it needs to be on YouTube because YouTube's the only one that's gonna allow us to make money from it. There, none of these other platforms are doing any of that for me. So when I started in 2017, I was only looking at it as a place to park my content because I was a video person. And for some reason, I loved just getting my message across via video. And I just looked at YouTube as a place to park it. That was it. So in 2017, I was uploading videos every now and then. It wasn't consistent at all because I wasn't really caring. In 2018, I, I went from like a hundred subscribers to like maybe 300 subscribers. And I'm like, Hey, maybe, maybe whatever I'm talking about and I'm staying on topic, which, which you're going to obviously do. All you talk about is real estate investing. I was also staying on topic, which is, which is very, very important. You don't want to talk about a bunch of random stuff, stay on topic. So now you build an audience of people that are, that are looking for that information and that information only. But in 2018, I'm still staying on topic, but I wasn't really uploading consistently at all because I didn't, I didn't know. I was just putting up videos just for the hell of it. And then it wasn't until, it wasn't until the middle of 2019 when I seeked out a mentor and I'm like, dang, he has 60,000 subscribers. He's making 8,000 a month from his YouTube channel alone. And he's teaching me exactly how he's doing it. So I'm like, dang, that's all I got to do is be consistent. And so it wasn't until, it wasn't until the, the, the middle to end of 2019 when I started doing all this. So it's not like it's going to take you 12 months. I say 12 months just because you're going to, you're going to put out content regardless. And so if I can just paint a perfect picture, worst case scenario, it takes you 12 months, 12 months is going to fly by anyways. So I didn't start doing this until maybe the last seven months. And so that's when my channel literally, literally went from about 600 subscribers to now where it's at today. And, and that's when I started seeing income. So in, in, in November of 2019, I'm doing a video on this. It's on my channel. In November, I got a check for a couple hundred bucks. And I, I, I was fired up. I looked at that, that 200 bucks like it was 20 grand because I was like, dang, this is content that I made two years ago. I'm getting paid on these videos now. That's pretty cool. And then, and then in December, the check went up. And then January, the check went up. And then in February, the check went up. And in March, the check went up. And in April, the check has gone up. And I'm like, dang, all because I'm doing these little things and I'm consistent. That's it. So with all this content, that VA, you want her to be consistent. I'm going to hire you to put up a video every day. Or I'm going to hire you to put up a video three times a week. But just make sure you do it. That's what I'm paying you for. And, and, and I'm telling you, if you were to just do that from this point on in the next six months, in the next six months, I, I believe in the next 90 days, you'll hit a thousand subscribers, okay. you know, and, and, and again, that's going to allow you to offset, you know, what you're even paying her to do it for you. So you're going to win, win no matter what. And, and again, YouTube, it's not an overnight thing. It is a long-term play, but again, this is content we're putting out anyways. We right. might as well get some dollars from it. Right. You know, cool. so that's pretty much that, Deb. Okay, so I'm gonna start this process and then come back to you and, um, and then we can go forward together. Sounds good, Deb. Me message me, email me, call me anytime. Thank you, David. You're so, so welcome. God bless, I talk to you soon. appreciate this. Thanks. Stay safe out there. You too. Much love, bye-bye. All right, bye-bye.